Prostate cancer is one of the most common forms of cancer. Worldwide, more than 680,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer and 221,000 men die from the disease every year. The majority of these prostate cancer deaths occur in men who have stopped responding to hormone therapy and have developed hormone-resistant prostate cancer. Prostate cancer starts with a number of malignant cells which proliferate to form a tumor. As the tumor develops, it needs its own supply of nutrients to survive and grow, and therefore develops its own vascular network by angiogenesis. As the tumor matures, some of the cells acquire the ability to break away and enter the bloodstream. These cells travel around the body and invade tissues distant from the original tumor, where they can form secondary tumors or metastases at a range of sites. The most common site of metastasis for prostate cancer is the bone. The endothelins are growth factors that occur naturally throughout the body and endothelin 1 is also a candidate progression factor in many tumor types. In men with metastatic prostate cancer, there are increases in endothelin 1 levels. Endothelin 1 binds two receptor subtypes. Binding of endothelin 1 to the endothelin A receptor induces a survival pathway, promotes proliferation and invasion of cancer cells, and inhibits apoptosis. In prostate cancer, endothelin A receptor expression is upregulated, providing a survival advantage for the tumor cells. Binding of endothelin 1 to the endothelin B receptor mediates clearance of circulating endothelin 1 as well as promoting apoptosis. Endothelin B receptor expression is decreased in prostate cancer due to hypermethylation of the gene's promoter region. Levels of the enzyme that degrades endothelin 1 are also reduced. This results in elevated endothelin 1 levels in the tumor microenvironment and reduces the negative growth response mediated by endothelin B. The imbalance in expression of the endothelin receptors in prostate cancer results in greater activity of endothelin 1 via the endothelin A receptor, while activity via the endothelin B receptor is minimal. Specific antagonism of the endothelin A receptor prevents endothelin 1 mediated survival signaling and facilitates the apoptotic and clearance mechanisms via the remaining functionally active endothelin B receptors. In the bone metastases, the tumor cells release various growth factors, including endothelin 1, that stimulates the deposition of new bone by osteoblasts. However, at the same time, the tumor cells also release osteolytic factors that result in bone resorption by the osteoclasts, which try to compensate by secreting growth factors that stimulate the metastatic tumor cells to proliferate and survive, leading to release of more growth factors and creating a vicious cycle of stimulation. The endothelin axis is a promising target for novel targeted therapies in the treatment of prostate cancer. While the endothelin A receptor promotes growth and development of the tumor, the endothelin B receptor plays an important counteracting role by blocking disease progression. AstraZeneca is currently evaluating a drug that specifically target the endothelin A receptor, an agent that could specifically block the actions of endothelin A receptor while leaving endothelin B receptor unaffected could prevent the negative effects of endothelin 1 while maintaining the positive ones. Blockade of the endothelin A receptor limits the release of signals that drive tumor cell survival and proliferation and reverses the inhibition of apoptosis induced by endothelin 1 resulting in increased rates of apoptosis. Endothelin A receptor mediated stimulation of angiogenesis is also blocked limiting the development of new blood vessels into the tumor and therefore reducing the flow of nutrients available for tumor growth. The reduced invasion signal may also limit the ability of tumor cells to metastasize to distant sites, including the bone. Within the bone microenvironment, antagonism of the endothelin A receptor may provide a break on the vicious cycle of reciprocal stimulation between bone cells and tumor cells at the metastatic site. The sum total of these changes suggests that tumor growth will be reduced, improving clinical prognosis for the patient.